What's up, LHS? I'm Matthew. And I'm Julian, and welcome to the Epic, where you can find a little shrimp on the barbie. Student Council is hosting Lebanon High's annual canned food drive. Our drive will run from the 2nd to the 6th of December, and the goal is 30,000 cans. These cans will go to the Community Help Center and feed families in Wilson County, and each second buck class will rank items to compete with other classes for prizes. This year, if we meet our school go, participating second block classes will receive a pass to either leave three or five minutes early from school the last day before Christmas break. Yearbooks are on sale for $75. Remember, the price increases as the year progresses, so don't delay. GSA is selling buttons for $1 or custom buttons for $2. Look for their flyers around the school. And there will be a student council meeting after school tomorrow in the library. The dance team has a Panera Bread Spirit Night on Friday from 4 to 8 p.m. If you would like to submit your work to the LHS Literary Magazine, send it to Club at gmail.com. Seniors, when you go to lunch, don't forget to go by the bank and check the spelling on your name for your diploma. You don't want them to get it wrong. Now let's see if Miss Davis' class is still in first place with the True Blue Trivia. Minnesota. Minnesota. No. Minnesota. No. Washington, D.C. No. Georgia. No. Congratulations to Miss Bates' class, the Bates Motel. Basketball season begins this week, and our first home game is this Thursday against Stewart's Creek. The girls start at 6.30, and the boys begin immediately after. Students' tickets are on sale for $3 at the bank today and tomorrow. Students can purchase one ticket, and tickets will be $6 at the gate. Prior to the game, SCA is hosting a fire pit fellowship behind the school from 4.30 to 6.30, and it's free. We, have, we, we will have free food, volleyball, music, cornhole, a chili cook-off, and more. Want to win the grand prize of $100 for the best chili? Here are the rules, so listen up. No, chili sounds some good right now. So, chili must be named and submitted to the contest chairperson with a list of ingredients or recipe by 4 o'clock by the day of the event. Crock pots are the best way to keep it hot. Each group will submit the bowl of chili. The judges will score your chili on taste and creativity. Small prizes will be awarded for first, second, and third place, and the grand prize of $100 cash will be awarded to the chili cook-off champion, mate. The baseball team store is open from now until November 25th. If you're interested in getting the same gear as the players and coaches wear, go to bsnteamsports.com slash shop slash bdb2020 to order. Everything will be delivered to LHS before we are out for Christmas break. Coming off their first loss of the season, the boys bowling team came into this match looking towards district without another loss, and their commandos were capable of giving it to them. The Blue Devils tied the highest games total this season, looking the victory over the commandos 18 to 9. The Lady Blue Devils came ready to bowl, but got news that the Lady Commandos had to forfeit the match because they didn't have enough players to participate in the match. 
Even though this was an automatic win for the Lady Blue Devils, they still had to get prepared, their minds in check, and bowl for their average. November 24th, the LHS bowling team will be having a fundraiser in the back student parking lot. This fundraiser event will be twofold. First, they will be selling concessions during the car audio competition to raise money for their team's expenses. And second, to collect toys for Toys for Tots. Last year, the toy donations were done by parents, youth, and teams at Provo West. Eight boxes were filled last year. The bowling team's goal is to fill one box per lane at Provo West. That's 16 boxes, mate. A donation box has been set in the front office and will remain there till November 22nd. You can place your donation box there in the office or come drop it off at the event on the 24th. Help us reach this goal and make a lot of kids' Christmas joyful this year. That's all the news I have today for you, LHS. I'm Julian. And I'm Matthew. And this has been news to you from the White.